Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, DrewTube, and you know I'm back at you with another video. This is what we're here to discuss today. When you begin to use your mind, they will be afraid because they are starting to see how strong you really are. If you are a chosen one and you've been particularly abused in a way to where you react to people, to where people try to get your reaction and you were raised to not be taught how to deal with that and the people who you were brought up around just wanted to see you react, then you know where I'm coming from and you know that you are going to have to deal with reactions from people. You know that you're going to have to deal with people trying to get on, get on your nerves, people trying to purposely get a reaction out of you, people purposely trying to um, make you upset and angry and get you frustrated. And one thing that you can do, right, is when you begin to use your mind, okay, when you quiet your mind, when you don't let these people get to you anymore, and you're allowed to think clear, and you can process your thoughts, these people are going to be scared because you're using your mind and you're not allowing them to get you into a negative mindset anymore. You're allowing yourself to grow past it. You're allowing yourself to not be affected by the negativity. You got so many people trying to affect you in a negative way that you have to ignore damn near everybody that you come in contact with because there's so many people out here just trying to get a negative reaction out of you for no reason whatsoever. And the more you ignore them, it's like the more they try to bother you because all you're trying to do is stay peaceful and mind your business. But people being people, they have to poke the bear. They have to try you. They have to get a reaction out of you. They have to make you sweat because there's something in them that they hate about themselves and they are not um, they're not man enough or woman enough to come to terms with that. And when people can't come to terms with who they are and how they are, other people around them are subject to the, to the type of treatment that they feel like giving out. So when you don't feel like accepting that treatment anymore and you start to use your mind and you start to think clear, people can't mess with you. And then people become afraid because when they can't bother you anymore, what else are they going to do? When what, they, when what they try to do doesn't affect you anymore, what else are they going to do? They're going to have to sit there and deal with all that negativity because it's theirs. So don't you take it because it ain't yours. You don't want it. You don't want anything to deal with that. So let them have it. Use your mind, okay? Use your mind and don't allow them to get to you. By using your mind, you think positive thoughts. By using your mind, you calm your mind down. Okay, calm your mind down. Take a deep breath. Count to 10. Calm your mind down so you can hear yourself think. The minute you can get back to hearing yourself think, oh, they're in trouble. You have to get yourself back to a point of being able to hear yourself think. These people know that you go under this type of pressure. They know you're chosen. They know you go under this type of stress because, number one, if they know you already and they haven't been treating you right, they've been making you endure it. They've been putting you under it. And then when you get around people, unfortunately, because how you've been brought up and how you've been reacting to things and the way you've been handling things, people know how to deal with you because you get your easy. You've been giving you've been giving it away. You've been giving away how you've been giving away people. Um, you've been giving people knowledge and information on how to mess with you, on how to bother you, on how to affect you in a negative way. But it's not your fault because nobody told you any better. If you knew better, you wouldn't have done that. If you knew better, you wouldn't be reacting to those people like that. So that's why they attack you the way they do, because they know they can get something out of you. But here's the thing. We're not going to let them get anything out of us anymore because they're not worth it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve your precious energy. All right. They don't deserve your precious vibes. When you get around them, shut down. Just be cool, be calm, be collect, but don't let them get too much. Don't let them get anything. All right, just be nonchalant. Hi, hello. Mm hmm. Yep. Act like you don't care, but don't ignore them because when you ignore them, if you're around them, they're going to go harder. They hate to be ignored, narcissistic people. Okay? These demons hate to be ignored. The more you ignore them, the harder they go. You ever notice that? The more you try to be peaceful, the more you try to not be confrontational, the more you try to avoid problems. You ever realize that's when the problems happen with other people? The more you try to avoid them, stop trying to avoid them. 
Okay, don't try to avoid them. Just keep your cool and use your mind. You don't have to avoid these people. They're not that powerful. If you can't avoid them, avoid them. But if they're coming in your direction and you're trying to move the other way, they're going to know that you don't want nothing to do with them. If they, if you see them coming and you look the other way, they're going to know that you don't want nothing to do with them. You even got to keep that low key as a chosen vessel. So this is what I mean when I say use your mind. Because before I realized this, I wasn't aware of it. But now that I am, I know I really have to focus. I know that my focus is what's going to help me remove the bogus. When I'm focused, I don't have to worry about who's bogus. They can act however they want, but I'm focused on me. I'm focused on God. I'm focused on peace. I'm focused on making my reality what I want it to be. I'm not worried about you or your nonsense. I'm on the rock. I ain't got time for that BS today. I'm on the rock of faith. I'm on the rock of, of love. I'm on the rock of patience. All right. I'm on the rock of I believe in God and Jesus and, and whatever tries to get in between that is done for. OK, by the time you get done messing with me, it's going to be so many fiery darts aimed at you. You're going to be spiritually drained and you're going to need to go take a nap somewhere because that spirit on you is dead. OK, death to those spirits. All right. Death to those monitoring spirits. Death to those people that are the spirit on those people watching you and, and trying to uh, pressure you and make you upset. These people are purposely trying to vex you and get you out of your peaceful mindset. Death to them. OK, death to them. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says death to people like that. OK, because there's no love in them. All right. There, 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 there's no love in people like that. And when people have hate for you, when people have hate for God, God says death to them. OK, that negative spirit must go. That negative spirit must perish. That negative spirit has to go. It has to get out of here. OK, and you being positive, you can't be around negative spirits like that. All right. So what you have to do is start using your mind. Make these people afraid of you. When you start using your mind, people that used to come to you, people that used to walk in your direction, now they're going to feel your energy. They're going to feel that you they're going to feel that you don't even care and it's going to repel them. They're going to feel that you're they're going to feel that you're in control of your own energy and it's going to repel them. I'm telling you because it's happening to me now. People are going the other way. People that used to walk towards me, they're now uh, going in the opposite direction. I'm like, yo, how come people ain't messing with me like they used to anymore? More because I'm starting to not care about it. So the fact that I'm not caring about it, the fact that I'm not giving attention to it, the fact that I'm not reacting to it, I'm telling the universe that I don't even give a f about that. I'm telling the universe I don't care about that. And whatever you tell the universe you don't care about, it's not going to put it in your reality. But when you tell the universe, oh, I don't want that, I don't want that, you're basically that when you say you don't want something and you focus on not wanting it, that's basically the same thing as telling the universe that you want it because you're focused on it even though you don't want it. So whatever you don't want, don't focus on it. Whatever you don't want, focus on the opposite. And what I'm doing is I'm focusing on me being at peace. I'm focused on me. I'm focusing on me not being upset and offended. I'm focusing on me breaking negative mental patterns. I'm focusing on me throwing out aggravation and irritation. If you are at peace with you, these I guarantee you these people can't get to you. If you are, no matter what's going on around you, no matter what's going on in your life, if you are at peace with yourself, no matter what's going on around you, these people will have no effect over you. Whatever they try, whatever they think is going to work, whatever plot, whatever plan, whatever scheme, it's not going to work. They could tell you they're going to do something for you that you need them to do. They could not do it. And you'll still be at peace. Why? Because you're at peace with yourself. So if you're at peace with yourself... If, if, yo, if you're at peace with yourself, it's nothing that anybody else could do to you because all they're trying to do is make you upset and angry. But if for you to be upset and angry, you have to agree with yourself to be upset and angry. Oh, that made me mad. The only way you can get mad is by telling yourself that made you mad and agreeing. So tell yourself that that don't bother you and agree with that. Tell yourself they don't have no power over you and agree with that. Tell yourself greater is he that is in me that is in the world and agree with that. Tell yourself that there is no power outside of yourself and agree with that. Tell yourself that my thought is God and it stands alone and agree with that. OK, you have to agree. These people have set us up. All right. They set you up for failure in your own mind. OK, they're not doing anything to you. By the time they get done with you, it's you doing it to you. All right. They did something. They set the trap. You take the bait. And now you're walking around angry, upset, cursing, frustrated. But not anymore. Why? Because we're going to use our mind. 
And when we use our mind, we make them scared. We make them afraid. They don't have anything else to do but hate themselves because that what they tried, it didn't work. They found out they weren't as smart as you. They found out they're not better than you. They found out that they're a loser. They found out that they're lame. They found out that all they are is a person that is is just there. Okay, the whole story revolves around you, chosen one. And when, when once they stop being able to get to you, they're just there. They're not a part of the story anymore. They're trying to be a part of your story. When you stop reacting to them, when you ignore them, when you stop giving them your power, when you act like and believe that they don't exist, right? They aren't going to be powerful. They're going to lose power. You are going to take your power back. They're going to be weak. They're going to be insecure. They're going to be frustrated. They're going to be upset, sad, depressed, angry, mad, all that. And they're going to have to deal with it. They're going to have to keep it. They're not going to be able to project that onto you anymore. They're going to try to project it onto you and it's going to bounce off you and hit the floor and bounce back up and smack them in the face. Because you're too powerful now. And they don't know what to do. They're scared. They, they, they don't know what to use on you anymore. Their, manip their manipulation tactics, tactics don't work anymore. They can't manipulate you anymore like they used to. They can't affect you anymore in a negative way like they used to. Everything that they're trying to do to you is not working. So that's why they've been going so hard. But the thing is, once a person pushes you past the point of no return, and once you get over that, and once you accept the fact that that's what they did, and that's all that they're here to do, and that's all that they're going to do, you don't let those things bother you anymore. Those things can't affect you anymore. All right. People are already watching you. People are already stalking you. People already care about you more than you care about yourself half the time because they all up in your business. So you're already dealing with a lot. OK, you're already under a lot of pressure. So the fact that you're able to handle that pressure now and deal with that pressure now of people stalking you, people watching you, people trying to monitor you, people watching your every move. The fact that you're now not letting that bother you anymore, no matter who wants to be a, 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 a stalker or a monitoring spirit, it doesn't matter because they can watch you all they want because you got past it. You don't let it affect you anymore. No matter what they try to do, they're weak and they will never be as strong as you. No matter how hard they try, they can try to do whatever it is they need to do. They will never be able to be as strong as you mentally, probably not even physically if you start working out because your mind's so dang strong. All right. That's the one thing they, they, that they hate you for the most is that your mind is strong. You're mentally tough. They, I'm telling you, they put you through so much. They thought you was going to take yourself out, go to the funeral and be like, he was a great person. She was a great person. And when, when they went to the funeral, they were, oh, oh, we loved him so much. We loved her so much. We just abused him into making him want to take himself out. We just abused her into making herself want to take herself out. That's why you got to get away from these people. The first time somebody that uh, is not supposed to make you feel some type of way makes you feel some type of way, I don't care if you don't understand it. Cut them off. Why is this person who's supposed to be bringing love bringing this energy? If you don't understand it, cut it off. What do they do to you? They don't understand you, so they destroy you. Since you don't understand what they're trying to do to you, destroy the relationship. Put some distance between it. Cut it off, okay? Do whatever you gotta do to be able to use your brain. Whether you gotta walk away, whether you gotta be quiet and shut up and not say anything whatever you got to do to think so you all you got to do is be able to think when you think you become dangerous when you react you're just a fool so i want you guys to use your brain because these people ain't taking no shorts they want to see us miserable they want to see us upset because that's that's their dwelling place our dwelling place is the most high their dwelling place is misery hate uh jealousy and envy so it's getting a little noisy i'm about to cross the street I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Hit the share button, hit the comment button, and most importantly, so to help out my videos with the algorithm, help my channel grow, smash that like button for your boy. I'll see everybody in the next video. This has been another uh, Drew 2 special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. We out. Oh, I thought we was out. We out.